Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Yolan and I am a zero based cash budgeter. In today's video, I am going to be doing a bill swap because my envelopes have gotten a little bit thick over the last couple of weeks and I just wanna get as much money into the bank as possible. Um, I'm just gonna quickly grab my $100 placeholders. And so you guys know for, um, for my savings challenge video, for my savings challenge in my videos, envelopes, I swap out every hundred dollar bill and I put them, put that money into a high yield savings account. That way I'm not having so much money in my house and I'm accruing interest because I'm not spending that money on, I'm not or expected to spend that money anytime soon. So I do swap out my cash, my savings challenge envelopes. And so I am gonna do that today. I'll start with, I'm gonna quickly just run through my bills binder to make sure I'm not missing anything um, and make sure there are no strays in here. Okay, so I'm not swapping out anything for my bills or my cash envelopes because I'm still spending that. I am going to start with my savings challenges only because I'm going to use the money that I pull out of here that's going to go back into the bank um, to condense my other envelopes. So my long-term sinking funds and my moving binder. So let's see. So every 100, I'm just going to put that here. I don't want to mix um no actually I could put it in the back because I don't have any, I don't think I have any hundreds in my envelopes so here we go and someone asked me what I have around it around my hundred dollar bills it's washi tape black and blue did a video about it um about how to washi have the washi tapes and I'm so glad she did it because I would have completely done it wrong and so that's what you guys see around it. So this is fake prop, prop money with washi tape around it. So we have, I'm gonna start, I, should, I always forget this. I'm gonna start with my, with my husband's challenge because I know he has a couple hundreds in there because he usually stuffs a minimum of $100. So let's see. So he has pot money already in there. So we have 50, 100. I'm going to take that 50 out. 20, 40, 60, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. So we have 200. I'm just going to take two prop bills. 20, 40, 50 and there's a 50 here so i'm just going to take that 50 the two 20s and the 10 dollar um and give it another prop bill and so now i have that was three yeah i'm going to take these two two fives and take a 10. so that is it i'm not going to count it because he might watch this video and he doesn't want to know how much he has saved and yeah, so I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil it for him, but he's doing well, so I'm happy about that. Now this is the money that I'm gonna use to swap out the remainder of my bills. Of the I'm gonna use to condense the rest of my envelopes. So we have 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. And that's just going to be a $50 bill. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and a five dollars. Five dollar challenge. It has 25, it can't be condensed any, any smaller. 125. Payday challenge. 
already have a 50, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27. So I'm going to take this 10, sorry, 10, 15, 20 for a $20 bill. And that's the lowest that I can reduce it to. Thanksgiving has 100, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. So this is also getting a prop bill. 10, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So I'm going to take this 10 and this down, swap this out for a 50. Okay, that's for Thanksgiving. For Black Friday, let's see what we can swap out. So I'm just going to put the hundreds that we have here. Um, we have 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. So this is getting another 100. And it has $6. And so that can't be reduced any further either. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I think I might need some more hundred pop bills. Okay, and now we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So I'll keep the five dollars and I'll switch out these singles for a ten. And that's for Christmas. I'm sorry. I should count this for you. So for Christmas we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 10, 15. So 615, our goal for Christmas is 1,000. For Black Friday, we have one, two, three, four, five, 505, 506. 506, so we're on a halfway mark for this one. Our goal for Black Friday is also 1,000. For Thanksgiving, our goal is 500. We have 200, 50, 60, 260. So we're at the halfway point for all three of these holiday envelopes so that's exciting that's i think that's good um i do want to try to finish these envelopes by july but we'll see we'll see but at least get the larger numbers out of the way that way i can allocate savings challenge money to something else right so 20 40 50 65 75 85 so we'll do 10, 25, 35, 45. We can't do that. So 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. And these two fives can switch out for a 10. There we go. 
And so coffee, the coffee challenge has 50, 70, 85. I never fix this, so let's just fix it now. There we go. And once I am completed with my Christmas and my Thanksgiving Day and Black Friday envelope challenge, um, I can allocate more money to something else. So we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. Finally got my first 100 in this nail challenge envelope. So that's exciting. And we have 5, 10, 15, 20. Switch that out for 20. And so for my nail challenge that I got from Budgeting by the Bag, this money is going to go into my emergency fund. It's 120 and 25. Monthly challenge. I haven't really stuffed this one, so I don't think it has anything to swap. Let's see. Oh, I was wrong. Um, so 20, 30, 40, and 50. Oh, wait a minute. I can switch out these two 50s. I'm just gonna, yeah, some more hundreds. So I'm gonna switch out these two 50s for 100. And so we have 130 for the nail challenge that I got, sorry, for my monthly challenge. And that's Hobby's challenge in the back. Okay, so that is it for my first savings challenge binder for my second one. Online shopping, let's see. So we have some prop money already in here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I'm gonna put these here and take out two 20s. So now for our online shopping challenge, we have 100, 200, 300, 20, and 40, 340. For the challenge that I got from Row Budgets, the division table challenge, uh, 50, 60, 80, 90, 95, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. Wow, already got 100 for this challenge. I'm just going to quickly count it again because um, I want to be sure. So 50, 60, 75, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. There we go. So this one's getting its first 100. And I'm hoping to complete this challenge soon because I did get a couple of more from Row Budgets um, that I do want to try out. So we have $102. So that means I just need $22 to complete this, $24 to complete this. My self-care challenge only has $25 in it. Let's see. I think I did a 20 and a five. Let's see. Nope. So 10, I'm gonna take out the 10 and the two fives and put in the 20. So it's $25 that's in here. For my pets fund, it still has the $200 and I'm going to have to pull this out for my planner challenge. This one I also completed, but let's see what I can put into the bank. So it already has 300 prop money. I'm going to take these 250s out. So now we're at 410, 15, 20, 30, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm going to keep the 5, take out the 10 and the two fives, and add a 20. 
So now we're at 425 for this. And for our scratch off challenge from Hands and Bands, this is also going into my emergency fund. We have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And there are four fives here, so I'm just gonna take the two. Oh, that's $20. I don't know why I just did that. Um, I don't have a 20, so. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I'm gonna take 120, so 10. So it's gonna be one prop bill and a $20 bill. And so for the scratch up challenge, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, and $20. Okay, it's perfect. Now I'm gonna put away the prop money because I don't use these in my regular envelopes. Um, I only switch these out for 1K. I don't think any of my envelopes are hitting 1K, so I don't think I'll need it, but I have it close by if I do need to grab it. Alcohol is getting skipped. Let's see what's in Amazon Monthly. Okay, yeah, some swaps can be done here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 95. 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. So I'm just gonna switch this out for 250s. And Amazon Monthly has 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and 200. Okay. I'm not switching out anymore because I think I spent $100 in, on these are for automatic ship items. So I think I was charged, I'm expecting to get a package um, for charges that automatically shipped, I think was on, it's usually the 20th. I don't I can't remember if the 20th was weekend, but that's supposed to come out this week in this week's bill swap. I mean weekly check-in, sorry. Beauty has 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm just gonna switch this out for a 10. And I moved beauty to my short-term singing funds because I don't use it on a weekly basis. Um, I do my own hair, I do my own nails, so I just put it on short term, put it in my short term singing funds binder uh, for when I do need to buy supplies. Um, Dollar Tree only has five dollars in it, electronics has 20, 30, 35 dollars, and that can't be reduced any further. Investments are already organized, and it has um. $25. So this $25, after my next stuffing, I'm going to deposit it. And then the remainder of the money that's in here is for my Roth IRA. So this is money that I would put into my Robin Hood to have invested. Laundry, I leave in 10s and 20s. Uh, miscellaneous has $15. Pet fund. And this is their monthly food. Um, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. So let's see. 20, 40, 60, 81. I'm going to leave these 20s in here and get rid of the small bills. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I'm going to take the 250s. 10, 20, 30, 5, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So I'll take another 50. And the reason why I want to leave the 20s in here, I probably should leave some 10s, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Because um, I placed an order on Amazon for cat food that won't ship until like next month. So for 
um, pet fund, we have a hundred um, two fifty. So I need fifty bucks more, I think. Support small has ten dollars and toiletries. Let's see, has ten. I'll switch this out for twenty. So if you guys see my last weekly check-in, you know that I just stocked up. Uber has $20, and then my rollover envelope. I should probably leave in smaller bills, but let's see. I'll switch out one more. No, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I think I spent some of this too. Okay, so that is my short-term sinking funds binder. Now for my long term. This should be easier to swap out because I don't want any small bills in it. So let's just take this take 20. I always get a rip 20. So that's for birthday. Birthdays has a 20 in it. Church. Let's see. It's 22. I can't make any reductions to this. This is church. So the reason why I have this separated on my envelope is because my tracker indicates for each item it has to be 42 and I don't want to fill up half an item. So when I did my budget with me for my last paycheck, I budgeted only $27 when I should have budgeted $42. So that's why I'm keeping it separate. So the next time that I add money to this envelope i'm gonna rem add the remainder of the 42 same thing i do with my moving binder i don't put half the funds in here but i don't want to leave it in the pocket of my binder like i do for my moving binder um and, and mistake it for something else because i do want to make sure that this money has this envelope has the funds that it needs but the next my next paycheck i would just uh, i'll make the necessary adjustment Clothing has um, 130, 130, and can't be reduced any further. My emergency fund let's see. has two 1K slips, 150, 70, and 80. I can't reduce that any further either. Entertainment Okay, so 20, 40, 60, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, and 80. So I'm gonna switch this out for um Twenty, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, and fifty. So I'll switch this out for a fifty. So now entertainment has fifty, seventy, and eighty. And this is for our trip to the zoo. We estimated about. I put down three hundred. We estimated about two hundred. And that's for the tickets. I think our tickets came up to sixty something, and then um food and stuff so this is for future i'm just gonna put a 20 and the same thing that happened with um my church binder happened here where i underestimated no i had an extra five dollars and so i threw it into future so that's what that's what's sitting here gifts Twenty, thirty, forty, forty-five, and fifty. So we're at fifty. I'm just gonna put a fifty-dollar bill in here. There we go. I have one fifty left. So let's see if we can make it through it. Glasses. Um, fifty, seventy. I'm gonna take these two tens and swap it out for twenty. Okay. 
And so for glasses, we have 50, 70, and 90. I need to step up my game for this one. Home improvement. So 50, 65, 66, 67, 68. So nothing can really be swapped out for here. Holiday and Mother's Day is coming up. We have 20, 30, 40, and 50. So I'm gonna swap that out for the 50. Hubby, I think he only has $25 in here. Nope, I'm wrong. So he has 50 in here. I'm just gonna switch this out for a 10. Okay, so that's one for my long-term sinking fence binder. My last long-term sinking fence binder, and then we'll just hit our moving binder, and that will be it. So, um, 25, I'm just gonna switch out these two 10s for a 20. And this is for Kira, Kira the cat. Winter and Spring, which are my kittens. They share a binder, they share an envelope, but they have different funds. So they each have 110 in it. And I don't think I can swap on any further. Nope. Medical. Um Radical can't be reduced any further either, and it has 100, 200, 300, 450, 70, and 80. So 480 in medical. New tech is a new, I just started stuffing this one. We have 20, sorry, 10, 20, 25, 30. I'm just gonna keep a 10 and swap out these 10s and two fives for a 20. So now we have $30 in here. And I know when I budgeted with budgeted, I budgeted out $20. Um, but then I ended up coloring a third headphone. So I didn't want to have my trackers not match my my funds. So I ended up taking $10 out of my spending. So if you notice that my spending is short, this is the reason why. Because I took the $10 out of it. Um, or was it, it was either spending or miscellaneous. I took the funds out of it so that I can correct what I did on my tracker and I wasn't going to reprint the the tracker, right? So that's what happened. So these are going to be switched out for a 20. So now I have $26 in my Amazon subscription for 2023. Alley and VS Fair. I can't could be reduced anymore. We have $65 in here. So it's $60 here, and then a $5 in the back. Vacation, I don't think can be reduced any further either um, because I haven't really added, added anything in here since my last stuffing. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and $5. And the reason why the $5 is sitting in the back between for alley and vacation is because of the same issue with my church envelope i had five dollars left over in my last budget with me or my last cash stuffing and so i decided to give um five dollars to those categories that i won't be able to fill the tracker uh, i mean wouldn't be able to put my minimum so now for my moving binder which is my favorite um Let's see. I'm gonna have to mark these since I Okay. I didn't update my trackers the last time, so I'm just gonna mark it. 
so that I can reduce it. Okay, so first and last month has two 1K slips. So we have 50, 70, 90, 100. We don't have 100. Um, let's see. Let me just check my back to bank. Okay, don't have 100, so we're just gonna keep it as it is. Well, 50, I'll just change out these 10s for 20. So 50, 80, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. I'm gonna keep a 10. Take these two fives. Forty, sixty, eighty. Okay, so we have two one Ks, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, fifty, seventy, ninety, two oh five. So two thousand two hundred and five dollars is in my first and last month's rent. Our goal for this one is 4,000. marking this one. Perfect. And we're going to take the 20, so 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So this is 25. I could have just kept the 5, so 5. And a 20 and this is three dollars which is eight so that gives us 45 46 47 and 48 dollars for fees um i can't remember my goal for this one i think it's 200 or 500 for food we have a 50 20 30 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. I don't have any 50, so we're going to do 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And I'm just going to grab a $20 bill. And so now we have $100 in food. For furniture. Let's 
So I'm just gonna keep the these 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So let's see. One, two, three, four, and five. That's 100. So now furniture we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. 50, 70, and 90, so 390. I'll go for this one is 2,000. Miscellaneous. So 15, 20, 40, sorry, 20, sorry, 10, 20, 35, 45, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, and 69. Let me just, so 10, I'm going to keep these 10s because I might run out. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 10, 15, 20. So I'm just going to swap this out for 20. All right, 10. I'm going to swap this out for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I'm just going to take $5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Because I can't break that down any further. And this I can. Let's see. 40, so 5, 10, 20, 30, and 40. These tens. So now for miscellaneous, we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 115, 116, 117, 118, and 119. And that's for miscellaneous. Rental. So the 50, 70, I don't have any 20s left, so 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So I'm just going to take these fives, these singles, 10 and 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, these singles, 4, 5, here we go. So we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 15, 16, and 17. So 117 is for rental. Security. Pretty sure that was supposed to be in services, but let's see. 50, 5, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, and 80. So 50, 5, 10, 15, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten.
So security has 81. I have to check this number. I think it's incorrect. Um, services has 25, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I'm just going to leave that one five and I'm going to take two tens. And so now we have 20, 30, 40, 45. And supplies, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I'll take three tens. One, two, and three. So now we have $45 for supplies. And decor, which is our last envelope. So this has fifty dollars, twenty, thirty, forty, and fifty. So that is my moving binder and that is it for the bill swap i'm just going to do a quick count for these and bear with me because there are a lot more fives and singles that i thought so um let's start with the i might have to do this the long way i'm going to pull out my calculator we're going to use the calculator so for tens we have 10 20 30 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 600, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, yeah, I count that over. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 710 dollars. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five. 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 
switch this around for you guys. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. Plus 85. So, so far we're at $1,195. And I am going to have to do another count off camera to make sure that this number is correct before depositing it into the bank. Um, and I'm just holding a little bit because my hand can't hold all of it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70. So plus 70. And I am returning $1,300 to the bank. And this is going to go into a high yield savings account that doesn't get touched um, until the end of the year. So um, that is it. Thank you guys. The end of the year, saying November, December, because my Christmas and Thanksgiving challenges are in there. And I will need to pull the funds out for that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this bill, um, bill swap. I know it was a little lengthy, lengthy and I know I ran out of bills, but that happened and I couldn't get access to 100, 100. So that's why I didn't have any in my bill swap video today. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like cash stuffing and budgeting videos, please consider subscribing to this channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'm happy to talk to you guys. I like talking to you guys and engaging with you guys. And I hope I get to continue to do so. But I can only do that if you guys comment. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.